Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, home of the tarantula, which is why I'm a little nervous on my feet as I film this. I hate spiders, except, of course, for this one. Yes, it's the McLaren 720S Spider, the seventh convertible to come out of Woking so far. It's got this clever retractable hard top which lowers in just 11 seconds and has a very clever tint mechanism on it. You can press a button and you'll get up to 95% tint on the glass if there's a load of sun coming through or when you want to protect your belongings in there from prying eyes, it'll make it impossible to see in. Another clever bit of tech are these flying buttresses at the back which are see-through, therefore widening the view at the rear. And of course, this being a McLaren, which is all about technology and lightweight, even though this is a convertible, it's just as rigid, just as fast, and just as light as the coupe version. But let's see what it's got to offer on the inside. We've got the luxury specification on our 720S Spider, and that means plenty of leather options, as well as loads of exposed carbon fiber here on the flappy paddles, on the A-pillars. In fact, we've got an additional carbon fiber pack. We've also got the 12 speaker Bowers and Wilkins system, which has been specially calibrated for roof down motoring. And also the track telemetry system, which means that we've got a little camera here between the two seats to measure what's going on out on track. But being the child I am, my very favorite bit of this car, which is carried over from the coupe, is the little slither of the digital readout here. If I press a button just here, it spins around and rotates to reveal the full digital glory of this car. If you imagine for one second that you have chosen a more lifestyle or a safer or softer option by going for the spider version of the 720S, think again my friends, this is a McLaren, it is first and foremost a driver focused car. 720S means of course 720 horsepower and that bolts this 1.3 ton car to 60 miles an hour in just 2.8 seconds, that is thorough supercar territory. In fact, you will never find the limits of the performance of this car on UK public roads. For that, you will very much need to go to a track. But what I love about McLarens in particular is that they split the performance and the handling characteristics into two lots of toggles just to my right here. And what I've got at the moment is it in sports mode for the performance, for the powertrain, which gives it a more dynamic uptake to the acceleration and throttle response. But I've got the suspension in comfort mode, which is plenty enough in a McLaren on these rather jolting Arizona roads. The steering is fantastic. It's quite heavy, but it's extremely taut. And there's absolutely no looseness about the turn-in. You turn and you get an immediate response from the wheels. But we mustn't forget that we do have under our hands here a spider, which means it's a convertible, which means we really ought to see what it's like with the roof down. Now, what was it McLaren said? 11 seconds to get that roof down. Well, let's see. Let's put it to the test. The windows are down. The back of the car is up. The roof is already lifting into its component parts. The windows are back up. The back is down and we're done. <laughs> 